The latest offering from TheaterWorks of Silicon Valley is one of 10 classic plays chronicling the black experience. It's called Gem of the Ocean by the late Pulitzer Prize winning playwright August Wilson. Here to tell us more is one of the stars of the play, Greta Oglesby. Welcome to Barrier Focus. Good morning. Good morning. Greta Theater is finally bouncing back after the pandemic. How does it feel to make that return to the stage again? Amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. And uh, most of the actors have been saying that throughout this process, you know, how, how wonderful it feels to actually be back on stage uh, and to not have to do uh, theater through Zoom, which was really <laughs> Interesting. I can imagine. And what a classic play for audiences to take in and enjoy over the next few weeks. Once again, Gem of the Ocean is from playwright August Wilson and explores so many issues still relevant today, right? That's so true, unfortunately. Uh, but it's uh, set in 1904. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the first play of the cycle. Uh, and it is... Um, it's about redemption and uh, it's about uh, a young man who comes to uh, Aunt Ann Esther's house, uh, 1839 Wiley, to have his soul washed and to seek redemption. Uh, and she is the healer in the community. She is the, uh, the soul washer of the community. And this is where people come uh, when they're in dire straits or they've done something uh, pretty horrific and they want, uh, they want a soul washing. I ain't no robber. You said to come back Tuesday. I can't wait till Tuesday. I can't wait. I have to see you now. They say you can help me. They say you wash people's souls. God, the only one can wash people's souls. God got big forgiveness. The people say, go see Aunt Esther. Aunt Esther is uh, this ancestor uh, that, that takes them on this spiritual uh, a journey to a place called the City of Bones, which is in the second act. And it's it is absolutely extraordinary. It, it's extraordinary to, to be in it and to live it and to create it every night as actors, but uh, the audience members are in for such, uh, such a, I'm not gonna say a treat, but it's, it's a, an experience that they will never ever forget. And you of course play 285 year old Aunt Esther and it's a role you're quite familiar with after you were chosen to debut the role in the world premiere. What has it been like for you bringing Aunt Esther to life? It's so, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, people always ask me what, it, since I've been doing this for it seems like a hundred years now, if I have a favorite play and I have to say it is this role. Uh, I am still very humbled that August chose me to originate this, this amazing character back in uh, 2003, I believe it was, when it premiered at the Goodman Theater in Chicago. Uh, so it's always, it's, and I've only, this is my, my third time uh, doing this role. Uh, and I was joking with another actor the other day. I said I'd gone out for an audition and did a you know, really great audition. Uh, uh, and the director, we talked a few days later and he said, well, we didn't give you the role because the powers that be said that uh, they wanted to go younger. So I thought, oh my God, I've aged out of a, a role. <laughs> <laughs> but what I love about Anne Esther is I could live to be 150 and I will never age out of this role. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You let them know. And you talked about this as well. Your character takes us on what's called a, a supernatural journey of justice and freedom. What do you think audiences will take away from that journey? You know, I really hope that, uh, I, I hope that audience members will also take away uh, kind of a, a soul washing of their own and a cleansing of their own and kind of a baptism of their own. Uh, I can't really, I don't want to give anything away. And I, I, I almost can't describe what this city of bones is, but it's, I mean, it, again, it's just an event that, that audiences will, they will live it because it's staged in such a way by Tim Bond that it is, uh, it's all encompassing. Uh, and you, you will feel as an audience member that you're actually on this journey with Citizen Barlow to this wonderful place called the City of Bones. It's staged in such uh, an incredible way that it, it, it will take you on this ride. So I hope that audiences will walk away differently than they came. Uh, and meaning that they 
when they walk out that they feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've, you know, like I've had a soul washing. Mm -hmm. It's just that powerful. You think you're supposed to know everything. Life is a mystery. Don't you know life is a mystery? See, you still trying to figure it out. It ain't all for you to know. It's all adventure, that's all life is. The director of Gem of the Ocean, Tim Bond, as you mentioned, he was a close friend of August Wilson. How did that add to the experience for you working with someone who was a leading interpreter of Wilson's work? Well, it's, it's priceless. It's so priceless because he uh, was so experienced because uh, he, he had done works of August before. But to sit in the presence of August Wilson and to get his, um, you know, his knowledge and his feedback, you know, when you're working on a show, it was, it's, it's priceless. I remember when I uh, first did this role at the Goodman, August was in the room. Uh, and we would stop, uh, we'd, do, we'd do a scene and we'd stop and they'd say, okay, everybody take 10. And the director at the time, uh, Mary McClinton, was directing the show and they would stop and you could see him conversing with August at the table and they he'd write stuff down. And, uh, and then we'd come back and we'd do the scene again uh, with uh, kind of with August's direction. Uh, so it was, uh, it, I know for Tim, it, it's, it was kind of a, a, a schooling or, a, I mean, those people who kind of worked with August, it was like you were, you know, you went to the college of August Wilson. Uh, so, cause he gave you such pearls of wisdom uh, and such insight uh, as to how, you know, how to direct his plays and what he was thinking uh, when he wrote these plays. I want to ask you too, has it ever really sunk in that August Wilson handpicked you, he chose you? I, I'm still pinch myself mm -hmm. uh, in, in a way. I was doing um, I was doing one of his shows at Penumbra Theater uh, in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, where I, I live, and we were doing uh, Joe Turner's Come and Gone. And August came to the show. It was opening night, uh, and afterwards we were out at a, the opening night party, and I had a long conversation with him and uh, and just chatting, right? And then a couple weeks later, the artistic director. Uh, Lou Bellamy at the time uh, called me and said, listen, August is writing something. And he said that you'd be perfect for. And so months went by, months went by, and I, I didn't hear anything. So I thought, oh, you know, it didn't work out. And so another maybe month or so went by and uh, his folks from New York called me uh, and said, you know, August would like to know if you're available to do uh, his show, Jim of the Ocean in Chicago. And I said, I, at the time I, I wasn't available, but I said, I will be. So I had been cast in another August Wilson show, which was Seven Guitars. <laughs> so I had to leave an August Wilson show to do another August Wilson show. <laughs> uh, and when I got all of the information in the mail, the, the contract and the script, I had no idea he was looking at me for Aunt Esther. I, 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 I had no idea. So I was, I was terrified. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, August thinks that I can do this role. Um, but I'm still, I'm still very humbled by that. Uh, at the time, like I said, I was so gobsmacked. But when I first read the play, and there aren't many that I've read like this, I loved every word that came out of Anne Esther's mouth. Uh, and she was so, and still is, so familiar and familial to me because she is my mother, my grandmother, every one of my aunts. And uh, her language was so, I didn't, I, I never have to go far for this character because she lives in me because she was instilled in me by all of them are gone now. My mother, grandmother, all the aunts by my own ancestors. Wow. So wow. I, um, I love when I can put this character on again. It's just, it's like coming home. And we cannot wait to see you in action. Don't miss <laughs> Greta Oglesby and August Wilson's Gem of the Ocean on stage at Theater Works Silicon Valley through May 1st. For tickets and information, visit theaterworks.org. Thank you so much.